Hey YouTubers, today uh, what we're going to be doing is trying to build a one of those roto mounts for a GoPro camera. So here's what I have in mind. I've seen a couple of their videos and I'm uh, going to kind of do my own spin on it. But uh, what you'll need of course is um, some of these L brackets. Which you can get just about anywhere, about a buck or so. A swivel caster. GoPro mount and you can see what I did is already mounted one of those L brackets in there a counterweight um, and then also one of these GoPro handlebar mounts length of some PVC and uh, some end caps so here's what I'm going to do is uh, with this swivel mount Oops. The swivel mount, um, this is just a, a rivet. Drilled that out so it just should pop out. Let's see. So I'm going to poke that through. Then you'll end up with this, which will serve as the base of the swivel. And then what we'll be doing is mounting that to the PVC. This is one I had, but it didn't have the uh, the bolt like this one. So I wanted to go ahead and change that. So uh, let's see what happens. Now the idea is, is it's just going to mount right here on one of these sticky adhesive mounts and it should work pretty good so um, once you have the the mount there you're going to just put this on the PVC I have here about a four foot section of PVC now on this end what I did is I just put a, a uh, end cap that I glued on and then what I did is I drilled a bolt through that and I had uh, these heavy spacers here so I used that to kind of counterbalance and I tightened that down nice and snug and that just screws on here you can snug it up and then that uh, should mount and should uh, work out fine um, with the end weights you're just going to have to mount your camera on one end and then balance it out so where that it's uh, nice and even and that should uh, be pretty easy. I had just added a couple things, nuts on here and got it to where it was balanced. So uh, let me work on that and uh, see what uh, what comes up. Helps if you have a drill press but not necessary. I uh, can also use just a hand drill. Just drill a hole through there to get that mounted. Let me get this Okay, so what I did basically was on one of those L brackets I um, just grinded this down so it would fit and line up with those holes there then I'm able to screw that in and since it's flat it should hold pretty well and you could mount it the other way if you wanted or thought I'd try it this way. I also had to uh, drill this hole a little bigger to accommodate this. Now you can see that's probably going to be a little bit long. So you have really two options. You could cut this down and um, grind it down. But what I opted to do was just um, Put a couple nuts of spacers, and that should make it a little shorter. It shouldn't hit. I'm going to probably go ahead and put two of those, and then see how it works. So let me uh, get her all assembled, and we'll test her up. I went ahead and mounted that on the helmet, and you can kind of see it turning there. 
and it's pretty well balanced. I might have to do a few more adjustments to it, but uh, let's put it on and see what it records. Thank you. 